for Halloween uh, knowledge? Clearly not, but we do have a special guest here tonight for yes. sports. I'm sorry. Speaking of heavy things. I was working on my body and my mind. <laughs> Is that right? What are you up to, by the way? Uh, you may have heard me. I was at a thousand. A thousand? <laughs> I can't even raise my right arm right now. But I can talk about sports, and I'll show you some moving pictures of them, too, right after a word from our sponsors. <gasps> no. He's a good friend. <laughs> now Steve's Hometown Sports with sports director Paul Gerke. Welcome back to your television programming. Paul Gerke is indisposed at the moment. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? If have just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Football highlights are about to be on your TV. Capital High School, looking to be perfect, just like Michelle Edmonds' disarming smile. You can see I was there cheering on the masses. The Eagles playing against Eagle. It's two Eagles. Feels like one too many Eagles. This can't be right. Who wrote this? Number 10, trying to get an autograph. Look out. He's coming right for us. That led to a Mustangs field goal, which I assure you was a scoring play. No review necessary. It was good. I saw it. It was 10 nothing Eagle when I saw my very dear friend, Pete Patterson. You have been an inspiration to me. I was just telling them that you and I are very close friends. You've cried in front of me and I, you. We talk every Monday. Yes. I mostly listen, because I'm a good friend. It's wonderful to see you. Yes, you too, Ron. Peterson? Pete, Pete Peterson. My fault. My bad. Meanwhile, the youngins continue their game of chance. Connor Polson to Marcel King Jr. You know, 60% of the time, it works every time. Down to the 10. And then while the throngs of children raise the chorus to the gods in Valhalla, number 9 scored. But alas, it was not enough. Thus is the plight of humanity. Eagle upsets Capital 31-28. The Eagles lose out on an undefeated season. It's tough luck for those kids, but... Life is hard. In other sports news, Boise State will be looking to grab Colorado State by the horn Saturday. But those Rams are tough, just like the new Dodge Durango. With a 360 horsepower Hemi V8 and 7,400 pounds of towing capacity, the Dodge Durango is this, is... this is video football. I'm in a glass case of emotion. Colorado State won only four games last year, and Jim McElwain's first as head coach. Good try, Rook. The Rams have already equaled that total this year. Two and one in the Mountain West, right behind, you guessed it, Boise State. My friend, Pete Christensen, who is very important and has many leather-bound books and whose apartment smells of rich mahogany, said he expected McElwain to be successful. A very important, attractive, and charming sports anchor with whom I am also friends talked to Jim in July about turning the program around. I don't really put it on wins and losses, although that's how everybody's graded. I get it. But I have already seen growth in the understanding in, of, of what it takes to work every single day. You take a look at what Boise has done and the way that they have held that standard. That's really a credit to everybody, not only the coaches, but everybody involved in the organization. Ribs. <laughs> I had ribs for lunch. That's why I'm doing this. Oh, hello there. The Associated Press released its preseason basketball poll today, and Boise State is not on it. Please tell me this is some kind of sick, tasteless joke. The Broncos did receive 22 points in the poll and would be ranked 32nd if the rankings were extended. Shooty Hoops coach Leon Rice wants to make sure the voters don't immediately regret this decision. He says what's important is how his team handles it. You know, I think they've been healthy about it. And they, they, I can see no... Uh, satisfaction in them, uh, like great, we're picked second. They, you know, they don't, they don't care. If the expectations, if the predictions, if the rankings meant something to them as far as, and, and maybe got them fat and happy, then I, I really wouldn't like it. You know who's a big fan of basketball? Strom Thurmond, another friend of mine. <laughs> Here's the AP top ten. I believe the parentheses denote the number of players on each team. So it's no wonder Kentucky is so good. The Broncos, who are a great story, compelling and rich, will visit the top-ranked Wildcats December 10th. BSU will play its first and only exhibition game tomorrow. Finally, Idaho's ice hockey team will have a new half-robot man guarding the goal, Garrett Bartis. Bartis is UConn's all-time saves leader. Don't act like you're not impressed. Josh Robinson still on assignment in the AHL in Texas. Hopefully the Stars don't take him out to a nice seafood dinner and never call him again. Pat Nagel will get the start in tomorrow's home game against Ontario. Paul Gerke will have highlights on the news.
on the news. I should invite him onto my news program sometime. We have a lot of viewers. You have a lot in common. <laughs> I've never met the man. I hear he's great. I love Halloween. Nicely oh. done. I love you. Thank you very much. <laughs> at this point, we need to show you a tower cam. That's a live look at Boise oh. from the Ford Dealers Tower Cam. Built for tough. Doesn't compare to the Dodge Durango. Oh. I didn't say that. The sponsors love us. The weather expert meteorologist Scott Dorbell will be right back wearing a Red Sox hat. <laughs> Scott was here a moment ago, but he just <laughs> ran off the desk. I believe he forgot his Halloween candy. Come on out to the three shot. No, that's fine. I'm just reading the dictionary. That's Scott, you, you can do. join us whenever you're ready. Oh, uh, just uh, I'm going to get your extended forecast. I, I thought it. you had made him disappear like some Halloween uh, I am not bewitched, uh, but I am learning lots of new words. Uh, masquerade. It's a, uh, a costume party. You're a ball. A ball in which masks are worn. Thanks for joining us, Brick. Well... <laughs> Loud noises. Very loud noises. <laughs> uh, you've seen my films. <laughs> yes. And how is he doing now these days? Brick? Yes. Uh, I believe he's doing the Colbert Report. That was him, right? <laughs> That's right. Uh, no. Hey, no, can, can you help me out? You did such a great job on sports. Could you do this extended forecast? I would love to. Brick. What it, Scott, my fault. Friday. Nice. 58 divided by 37. That's some advanced uh, algebra <laughs> that you've got there, Scott. Saturday looks like a slight chance of brezzy. Sunday flurries at Dairy Queen. Half off, as always. Monday, Tuesday, cold showers because the landlord will have forgotten to fix your plumbing. Wednesday, Thursday, 30% chance of those days happening. Watch out for the end of the world towards the end of the week. Now that is that's a forecast. That, now that's a forecast. Like, that's I thought I was going to be so cute. Yeah, you, know, you know, and I like, I brought my mm -hmm. little guys to put on at the end of the show mm -hmm. thinking, you know. And who showed up? Ron Burgundy? Now, I believe there's a copyright on the question name. Mark I'm the not Ron Burgundy. <laughs> of course, Scott's wearing his ball cap Did you from see another team. the weather picture of the day today, by the I way? I did not. Do it we have it? It's a lot like this, although. It's a hat. It, it, it's, it's a, a hat. picture of a hat. That's a terrible weather photo. <laughs> no, there, there it is. is. Is that your beard, Scott? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's not. That's why I'm not wearing it right now. I put it on the pumpkin. You're not wearing the Red Sox uh, tie anymore either, Scott. Well, it's a retired till next World Series, which will hopefully be uh, about one week less than a year from now. <laughs> I feel like we've got about 90 seconds left in the show because they expected me to talk for a little longer than I did. So let me go back to that video, if you could. Production folks in the back. There it is. Just me and my friend you Pete and I are very close Peterson. <laughs> You he's Pete Christensen. And I, you. <laughs> he <laughs> looks delighted to see me. Doesn't yes. he look comfortable? I <laughs> he tried to run. <laughs> he tried to get to the other sideline when I came to visit him. There he goes. I believe he called me Ron because he didn't know my real name. I don't blame you. I uh, just yeah. Twitter is going Twitter. nuts. So um, he's loving it about oh, Gio Bertinini, oh, yeah. the Cincinnati running back. I yeah. saw that run. That was great. <laughs> No time for it in sports, though. No, <laughs> all local. Honestly, if That's you how Ron Burgundy that we does like his to shows. Have fun, we and like to we, have fun. it's Halloween. What can you say? You are a stay of sweeps. <laughs> Expect more mustaches later this month. Right That's here on you're quite, an Fox 9. quite an inspiration over there. Uh, mm -hmm. What's your first name again? I can't tell you what my first name is. <laughs> Rick, if you don't know. <laughs> I believe we're going to look at the no, tower not cam. Rick. Rick Built for friend. tough tower cam. There it is. The city of Boise. Stay classy, Boise. How much time do we have left in this show?